Princess Anne undertakes new engagement at Windsor Castle amid royal shortage. Amidst a lack of royal engagements, Princess Anne has taken up a new role at Windsor Castle. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. At Windsor Castle today, the Princess Royal performed an investiture ceremony as other prominent members of the royal family took a back seat. While he continues his cancer treatment, the king is not making public appearances, therefore his siblings are taking on more of the royal duties. Additionally, Prince William has been spending time with his family since Princess Kate announced that she has cancer. Princess Anne awarded honours in recognition of contributions to journalism, drama, sport, and philanthropic activism today. In recognition of Celia Imrie's service to drama, and named the English actress a commander of the Order of the British Empire. In recognition of their humanitarian work, she also appointed Laura Coryton and Mr. Alexander MacLeish as members of the Order of the British Empire. I did say to him that the great thing is to have a laugh, because you have to in life, but also keep people guessing so that they're a bit surprised about what you're doing next, Celia added, speaking to Pierre about her acting campaign. Oh yes, you have gone off piste a bit, she observed, and I was relieved she was aware of it. Celia said that she was thrilled to meet Princess and since she was a great admirer of the woman, calling her unstoppable, with so little fuss and tireless. It was, completely overwhelming, and I found myself bursting into tears at the end of it, which is too silly, but I sort of wish my mother and father were here, she continued while discussing the accolade. In an effort to prove a lot to herself, Celia took on a range of roles, from those in Bridget Jones's diary to those in the Star Wars franchise. Celia said that she was thrilled to meet Princess and since she was a great admirer of the woman, calling her unstoppable, with so little fuss and tireless. It was, completely overwhelming, and I found myself bursting into tears at the end of it, which is too silly, but I sort of wish my mother and father were here she continued while discussing the accolade. In an effort to prove a lot to herself, Celia took on a range of roles, from those in Bridget Jones's diary to those in the Star Wars franchise. The investiture was conducted today by the Princess Royal, since the King is currently receiving cancer treatment, and limits the amount of persons he meets with. The Bank of England presented Charles with the first banknotes with his likeness on them before they went on sale a few weeks later. To deliver the new banknotes to the monarch, Governor Andrew Bailey and Chief Cashier Sarah John of the Bank of England arrived at Buckingham Palace. They were very well designed, the King said. On June 5, the new £5, £10, £20, and £50 notes will go into circulation. This is the first time the Bank of England has altered the monarch's image on a banknote. They were very well designed, the King said. On June 5, the new £5, £10, £20, and £50 notes will go into circulation. This is the first time the Bank of England has altered the monarch's image on a banknote. This was the King's first significant public royal engagement, since the announcement of his shocking cancer diagnosis in February. Body language expert Judy James told Female that Princess Anne, 73, showed her protectiveness towards her brother right away. The royal body language message here is clearly one of resilience, unity, and upbeat strength, the analyst observed. Judy deduced from Anne's arrival body language that she and her husband Tim had chosen the mood music before getting out of their automobile. The pair doesn't often joke around or converse in public, but on this particular occasion, they did. When Anne came out, she smiled at Tim, and he smiled back at the fans. Anne seemed to be expressing gratitude and even a sense of comforting relief to the crowd with her wave and warm, genuine smile. Additionally, the expert noted that Prince Edward, who was accompanied by his son, the Earl of Wessex, and wife, the Duchess of Edinburgh, 
also made reference to his protective instincts towards his brother. The sixty-year-old royal father of two was seen walking with his hands linked behind his back throughout the afternoon, a gesture that the late Prince Philip and King Charles were both known to enjoy.